let's see what fun we can have in Montessori trying to figure out which one of all the words we're using all the time is the verb. So at this stage the child will have had an introduction to um, verbs and nouns already. Uh, let me just quickly go to my camera. These are the parts of speech that the child has experienced before. The verb being the round ball which moves and turns through time. Now let's have a look at the verb in more detail. So we'll have some fun with this. In the verb material is a box and this box has um, other boxes with lots of little tiles and um, sentences and the tiles to build those sentences which I will show in a different presentation how to do it. But with this one I decided to have a look at the activity box because it's so much fun. There's lots of different activities the child can do by themselves. That's why this is on the shelf and once they've been introduced to it, they can do it all the time. So I decided to do this one with you guys. Let me read it out. It has got the cards in the front. So this card is about an activity with puff and blow. Let's experience it so we understand puff and blow the verbs. So yeah, where should I put them? Over here. That's good. Blow puff. Tear a large piece of paper into tiny bits on your table. Blow steadily up on the table till the bits of paper are on the floor. Pick them up and put them on the table. Puff three times up on them and see if they all fall on the floor. Gather the pieces and throw them away. There we are. Complete instruction all the way to cleaning up. Almost. Uh, I'll put the card above the little words. Um, I'm going to just do it so I can read it. I read it to you so uh, you know what I'm doing. Uh, tear a piece of paper into tiny bits on your table. Wanna make a ball? Look, tiny bits. Hold on. So, once I've got those tiny bits, blow steadily up on the table till the bits of paper are on the floor. And pick them up again. Put them back on the table. So, let's see. First, I have to blow. Big present, big present. I guess I have to pick them up now. I got them. Back onto the table. So, and now I have to do Puffing. I puff three times up on them to see if they all floor, fall on the floor again. Well, some fell on the floor, others are on the table, some on the floor. And when I pick them up again now, some of you might think, oh my god, this is only two words and it takes forever. Yes, it does take a long time, but that's not the problem. The problem is when we are trying to speed up education and trying to uh, f and just funnel in information into the child's head. When the child is picking up these things, what do you think the child is thinking of? They've just been reading a sentence, ripping pieces of paper into small little bits, realizing that they have to blow or second action have to puff which is written on the red cards as verbs are and now they have to pick them up they'll be thinking about i just did this and i've been blowing like this i wonder if i can blow stronger or if i can do it in a different way and i wonder if i puff onto the paper if i go more on an angle maybe i can get the piece of paper onto the floor there's so much that is so rich what they're thinking of and they're thinking about these verbs so to understand that what it is what they're doing is actually learning about 
the word and part of speech verb is just natural and it's fun and the child will realize what verbs are they will realize all the things they're doing or they hear other people do or maybe if they get asked can you get me a cup they will figure oh, okay i'm doing something again here mm, that must be the verb uh, no need to rush so much a good solid foundation is much more important than having a million examples and a million words written down so you possibly have written down all the verbs that you've been using in the last two years of your life that no that's not the point this is the point have fun